Hi everyone. So this is a very very special video for me because this is the first interview with an industry veteran. I had great time shooting this video and all the process of it. For so this first interview is a scientist who turned into an entrepreneur and in his WhatsApp group he found a book called Psychology of Selling. So he got very much attracted to the book and he started reading that book. Later he discovered a lot of concepts and tips and tricks which can help in sales and he applied those and he got great results. So he wanted to share all that knowledge with everyone around him. So he started making YouTube videos, he started preparing slides, he started taking one on one, uh, you know, sessions for people to help them in their sales cycle. And a lot of them whom he has trained have already got great results. So today we have him and we'll discuss about the sales tips and tricks and all his life journey and experience. So it'll be a power pack session. Don't forget to watch. Okay. Basically, I did my graduation electronics when 75 to 80. Then I joined BARC, Baba Atomic Research Center as a scientific officer. Worked for four years, then resigned from there. And then from that day onwards till now, I am an entrepreneur. Okay. So sales is sales is part of my activities. Okay. So I, I, I am not a hardcore salesperson, but uh, mm. sales is by part of my activity. Then uh, you may be aware that I am, I run many WhatsApp groups, and one of the groups is only books. I'm, I'm participant yeah. of the many groups you run, technology oh, okay. plus the non-technical yeah. groups also. Some technical and mostly non-technical groups. And then the yeah. books group, somebody posted this wonderful book called uh, Psychology of Selling mm. by Brian Tracy. I, somehow I was attracted by the book title itself, Psychology and Selling. Correct, correct. Okay, so okay, it is, uh, I thought it is... Uh, uh, some combination, rare combination that I took the book, read it thoroughly. Mm. I was so attracted and amazed by the simple techniques, which are very, very effective. Mm. So I read it and thought, okay, I can spread the knowledge available in the book to many people so that people, I can help people professionally also and business wise also. So okay. I started preparing slides, videos, and then started conducting classes. Really great okay. good. And then, uh, and then the thing is, many people are liking my training. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of reviews. Yeah, and yeah, reviews, yeah reviews, are, reviews are good. Yeah, okay. okay that, that's you're the best imparting part. Your, your knowledge and whatever experience uh, you had to those people, right? It will be really, really helpful mm -hmm. to them. For sure. yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay. But the first part is, I, I am the only person, maybe, conducting one on one training. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, either people may take up a, a, a class or so conduct 10 people, 20 Group people. session, yeah. Uh, group session, mostly group session. So one on one session, what happens, I'm able to get into their mind. I can able to pinpoint their shortcomings, mm -hmm. where they lack, and then tune it up and then say become perfect. Okay. So that way I'm able to really help people. Okay. Sure. So, uh, when you are taking a sale, right, you have done a lot of sales so far and you have written a book also. So, what are the key factors that you uh, notice in a sale? That, okay, these factors should be there in a sale, then it's a proper sale. So, what are the things? Uh, See, you... The key factor is one's mental preparation. Hmm. The, the sale happens in one's mind. Okay. So, how he prepares his mind before the sale is very, very vital in a sales uh, exercise okay uh, when you sell is a level of self level of self happiness hard friends is level of uh, happiness inside him and then the way he approaches the client okay that is very important if he uh, yeah it is very important how he builds up a rapport mm -hmm. and how you tries to solve the client's problem okay all those things are very uh, very effective and then it will change the entire process of selling Okay, so when you, as you said, you should they should have the zeal and enthusiasm. So, what are the uh, qualities a salesperson should have in that case? Okay, okay, exactly. That's we discussed in the book. Okay. The book says anybody can be a good salesperson. Hmm. It's only a question of training and then doing it repeatedly and become a perfect. 
Okay. So there is no born in quality for to be a sales person. But what Maybe qualities you can acquire in the later stage? Yeah, any qualities you can acquire. Mm -hmm. Say, let me give an example. One of my trainees is an introvert. He is okay. one openly to go and talk to people. So he had a one session with me and then says, now I'm able to do it better. Okay. I feel more confident. Okay. So that's even introvert can be tuned to be a good sales person. Uh, if you are, uh, if you have to point out few things, like, you know, a few qualities, what, what would they be like general uh, person? Okay. They, he should know these things. What are those minimum qualities? Minimum quality you should be a person of positive, positive mind. Okay. Positive mind always thinks in a positive direction. So a negative person cannot be a good sales person because he will communicate only negativity mm -hmm. to the client. Okay. So he can become a positive person. That's not an issue. Mm -hmm. It's not because he can discard a negative person and, and tell him you're not fit for sales. Not like that. We can tune him also. Mm -hmm. If he's really interested to put effort, he can tune him and make him a better person. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, so basically, uh, what I what I say to my client is, <clears throat> see, a human being is only a bunch of thoughts, collection of thoughts. Correct. Okay, so you can always change your thought pattern and then you become a different person altogether. So this is my uh, pitch. This is my pitch. Okay, how can one change the thought pattern if in that case? How so replace the old, replace is. negative thought with the positive thought. Okay. <laughs> but it happens in mind, so, right? So in that case, how would you go about mind. it? It happens in mind, but you can program the mind. Okay, get up in the morning and say, I love myself. Okay. I am the best. I am the smartest. <laughs> Repeat, do it repeatedly. You become that. Okay. So you're saying, uh, so these are all about, yeah. we, you know, think we are right. Okay. What you think is what you are. That's exactly a statement in the book. What you think is what you are. So change yeah. your thought pattern, change your bunch of thoughts and you become a different person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I won't discard it. Okay, I'm fit for the sales. No, I will not say. I will change him to become become better person. Okay, okay. So if a transaction is happening, uh, so what is the one thing or uh, what are the number of things which salespeople should not do? Like you know, if salespeople what are the do's and don'ts. If okay, don'ts mean I will say don't sell. <laughs> How but make <laughs> make the client. Buy it. Oh. There's a lot of difference. Okay. Do no, I'm not getting the difference. You have to let me <laughs> okay. go deeper about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go deeper about it. Okay. Uh, selling is okay. Forcing somebody, accompanying somebody to buy. Okay. Okay. Uh, you buy it. You okay? Something only talk. Keep on talking about features of the product and trying to push the product on his head. Hmm. By repeatedly meeting him, something like that. That's not the best way. Convince him that he needs the product and then convince him that the product will suit him best. He will make his life better. He will solve mm. his own of the problem and see that he himself is to buy the product. Okay. Make the client buy the product. Don't sell, sell the product. <laughs> Don't sell it. No, selling is not recommended. Okay. Uh, so the buyer, mm. buyer should feel himself. Yes, I have this issue. You identified my issue, my issues. I can be better hmm. if I buy your product or service. You should be fully convinced before buying it. So this is the way, this is the do, and then don't do is don't, don't sell. <laughs> what are the words which they have to take care? Like if in case you have to give them uh, uh, an idea, okay, don't use these words. There are some words like that, right? So, uh, can you uh, point out some of them, or like uh, there is nothing like that? that yeah, there are some where, where proper. Hmm. No, there is a certain pattern of waiting you should uh, use depending on the product and service. Hmm? So, so you should <clears throat> you should be more of a dialogue. Many sales conversation should be more of a dialogue and less of a sales pitch. Okay. See what what happens when the client comes into his uh, cabin or office room. Mm -hmm. He may be coming with hundreds of problems. Maybe he, is, he had a problem with his spouse or children, maybe to throw in front from while coming in the while he was driving. Somebody might have a car <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong direction. You'll have a bunch of problems and thoughts. 
okay oh so when somebody goes into his room and start giving a lecture <laughs> 95% chances you won't listen at all yeah true okay you won't listen yesterday i did the same okay role playing this one you are saying that i was not listening <laughs> you will listen, listen. So how do you make people you listen to you then, you then? <laughs> okay ask question very simple you ask a question okay will you be interested in improve your sales by 20% in another four months time obviously you'll be interested why not <laughs> i will be interested why not so that is the way okay okay so basically you are saying to ask more questions so that the you know the client shouldn't feel that we are pitching something rather he would feel that we are trying to solve his problem right yes exactly exactly see if i try to push him by my son he will try he will improve his resistance to buy mm-hmm. so this is this may not be a wrong person he is trying to push some unwanted product to me <clears throat> he may start thinking in that way because he may have burnt his fingers and many years of sales hmm somebody better solve him unwanted problem for a product or non working product he may think this sales person may be one of them okay. so you have to break that barrier mm mm-hmm. mm so you should find out what he needs really needs whether there is a requirement for my product or service for that person then only i should make a sale i should not waste somebody else's money correct correct so everybody makes makes lot of effort to make money whether it's the individual or True. a corporate or a company they have put a hard work to make money so I, i should not waste their money correct if you're selling your product for 100 rupees you should give them back 200 rupees hmm so i should make them happy by buying my product or service so if this should be the motto of the sales person so you should approach the client with a open mind that he is going to help a client hmm he going to advise them to improve something of the in their enterprise or in the individual life sure. so if this is the method this is a mentality one phone has that then sales happen or buying happens automatically correct true okay so this is the whole aspect of the book okay so book only what do you uh, suggest for people who have targets from their company saying that they push them to you know make certain number of sales and they are stressed by that right so how do they overcome and how can they uh, achieve more sales uh, you know yeah <coughs> some people targets are not, are, yeah okay targets, targets are very essential targets should be there then yeah, this book also speaks very much about the targets okay you one should set a target <coughs> achievable uh, reasonable achievable target so how do they set up a and target then, in that case like i i am a okay. new but, uh, you know i don't know anything in sales now i want to set up a target how do i do it for okay, the first year you have sold 100 units okay okay so means okay second year you you are aim for 150 units ha so now i have a three right like you said okay measurement units. target is a measurement is a quantity or my revenue yeah yeah correct but what if i don't have any i am a newbie fully newbie who want to sell something how do i set then okay okay there are previous some newbies might have joined he might have sold 50 units okay so 75 can be set for you <laughs> okay sure go go with the previous Research experience and uh, understand how the market is then i should go for it my uh, go for it yeah yeah okay. so once you set a target your mind automatically works backward okay. so 75 is my annual target then what should be the monthly target okay then what should be weekly target what should be my daily target how many people i should meet okay so the the rule is if we meet 10 people two people will buy okay that, that's the general rule so if i want to sell two units per week so i should have contact 10 people per week 10 people yeah yeah so 10 people to uh, get 10 people who are agreeable i should be able to contact 100 people 80 people may so first instance correct only 10 will say okay let's take lenge we will see mm-hmm. so from the 10 i have to convert into 2 so sure. once someone knows knows this mathematics then he is always keep on contacting people keep on getting more sales funnel will be full once sales funnel is full the sales will happen automatically 
uh, so uh, in generally when you say uh, sales a lot of people mm-hmm. have that stigma that uh, sales is bad or i should not go about the sales so how how do you like uh, you know address to those people who have a stigma okay 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 there is this is exactly discussed in the book <laughs> okay i'll give you the same answer given in the book it's not my answer, answer sure sure, sure. yeah okay okay see the asset or money is generated by the business mm. is it not no one has generated business money is produced by enterprises manufacturing units sales unit trading units only these people generate money asset and employment correct to, to run this uh, organizations one needs sales people true so with, without sales people these companies will not run mm. so we have to the sales uh, the sales people are the community which drives the entire economy all over the world correct they are the people bring in money they are the people who approach the client identify the need and then get the business they are the people good to get the factory running they are the fundamental people for employment for so many people okay okay so with those sales, sales people, nothing runs so sales <laughs> is a sales is a most noble profession mm-hmm. and again when you talk about sales is a rejection game right a um, lot of people say that uh, there are a lot of rejections are there how do people handle that rejection i mean some of them get uh, demotivated uh, saying that like, oh, it's not working a lot of people are rejecting me they are you know treating me badly so how do people with this mindset uh, should think about it? so what advice you give it to them okay even this is the deal the very detailed in the book one second <laughs> i am giving the <laughs> i am asking so you everything is in the book <laughs> is there is a detailed answer in the book i need not give you my answer okay okay um, see as we are sometimes by okay so many hmm. things some sales people come to us how do we behave with him many time we say no yeah okay no means we are not rejecting the person correct <laughs> okay we are not rejecting the person we have thousand reason to say no see every day you may get a call from bank do you need a personal loan what do you say do you say yes <laughs> no <laughs> we say no. say no you are but you are not rejecting the person correct correct so no is not no is not he is not one should not take it personally mm mm-hmm. a prospect may so no for thousand reasons for some reason may not need it he may not have money okay there no need no need will be the money may not be there or he may have already bought it or he may have not understood the sales person what he is selling <laughs> that also might be the reason right okay sales person approach may be wrong mm mm-hmm. mm a uh, sales person may be uh, representing an unethical company a company which is not doesn't follow ethics okay so all this can be a parameters but uh, there is no reason for your prospect to uh, hurt a sales person hmm. because they don't know each other there is no don't know each other there is no personal equation correct correct he is saying no for thousand other reason so once you have this understanding you will uh, go away for the next flight okay some will some some will some won't so what <laughs> next <laughs> yeah so that is the this is this is a mantra for handling rejection okay that's a real some will ha huh. some will some won't so what next <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good mantra so some some yeah. can you come again some will some will some will some will some okay won't. some won't so what so, so what? what next next <laughs> <laughs> that's really good i mean uh, one can have that's this where uh, uh, you know a personal uh, like card or something where they can have it whenever they get a rejection they can just see this okay this is the, this is the mantra so i can just no no worries it rejects you they are not rejecting you okay. they are rejecting your offer right ah rejecting your offer that's all they are not rejecting you so they no need correct. to take it take it personally personally and yeah. then another one if somebody follows okay we uh, need only one, two orders so you have hmm. to contact 100 people 10 people may show interest two people will buy hmm. so if you follow this pattern 
at least any two business will happen minimum two business will happen correct okay so he substituted two businesses once the you simply uses this formula mm -hmm. two two numbers is bare minimum assured correct okay me is contacting and a lot of them ha huh. identifying 10 people who are willing to buy or somewhere in the middle at mm -hmm. least two will buy so two orders are assured sure correct only thing we, we don't know we from which which two will buy <laughs> that's, that's only question which two will buy that's a question but any two will buy yeah so once the sales person has this confidence then you won't mind rejection correct if not just miss a number someone is going to buy someone is going to buy he is a should have business he is following a method he is following a plan so the plan will work out correct so once he is confident then he won't mind the rejection that's true so this is this is what the uh, books teach us about um, handling rejection rejections okay great so my last question to you so actionable tips one can take if they can uh, you know they, if they have to st start selling for tomorrow like just the day one itself what are the actionable tips you would suggest them tune your mind <clears throat> tune your mind and then become mm -hmm. more confident about yourself okay from day one for day one have a mind that i am the achiever mm -hmm. and i am the smartest okay this is a mantra given in the book i am the achiever i am the smartest in my field so mm -hmm. i will do it so and everything else will follow okay this is a simplest tip this is simplest tip even many people say i, I, I met on lady she was telling me before going to any sales meeting i program my mind okay this meeting goes on well and i am getting the order mm -hmm. so mentally prepare my mentally prepare myself that i am getting the order so i get the order yeah mental preparation so the, uh, mental preparation now full 100% confidence that's the one which works see sales happen emotionally mm -hmm. people take decision emotionally then they back it up with logic okay they decide to buy emotionally and then logic so works for that uh, decision <laughs> they will add on the logic later <laughs> later yeah that, exactly that's what the book also says logic will be added later on <laughs> okay to justify the higher ups and other things yeah see that happens for uh, so most of the things if i want to buy an ice cream i first crave for it and i buy it then i say okay this ice cream is very good I, some other the reason i'll create for it <laughs> <laughs> great for it yeah logic is created correct that's the mantra okay that's the buying uh, technique Okay. So you should know how to pinpoint the emotions of the buyer and then uh, tune it, prepare him, make him feel confident. Give enough input, enough record input about the product. Don't give all the inputs. Mm -hmm -hmm. What is required? Give him. Okay. Your product may have ten features, mm -hmm. but the client may be interested only three or four. Correct. Emphasize only that one. But to understand his needs, then uh, pitch on whatever he requires rather than everything requires, okay. that your product has, right? Okay, I will. We will conclude with a story. There is a beautiful story in the book. Okay, how your sale has happened. Okay, somebody is selling a flat, flat or okay, so some small home. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's a old, old used flat. There's nothing uh, great about it. Mm. Okay, so he takes husband and wife. Okay, when well, they both enter the house, and then the wife sees a flowering cherry tree. Mm. She immediately says, uh, "There was a cherry tree, cherry tree in a house where I stayed in childhood." Mm -hmm. Okay, so they enter, they enter the home, and then they open the window, and then he says to the wife, "See, you can look at the cherry tree." <laughs> <laughs> then he goes to the bedroom. One second, he opens the window. See, cherry tree is visible. <laughs> okay, but husband says, "No, this flooring is not up to the mark." He says, "Husband says flooring is not up to the mark." Then he goes to the kitchen, opens the door. One second, the flooring says, "See, you can also see the cherry tree from this room." <laughs> husband says, "The sink is not all right. Sink is very small." <laughs> 
but finally who makes the decision <laughs> <laughs> the sale is done correct <laughs> sale is done <laughs> one person agreed and uh, she will convince the other yeah, she will convince the other <laughs> this is called hot button okay very new hot button uh, 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 hot button is, yeah hot button is a flowering cherry tree <laughs> you you press that button till it happens this all take me <laughs> so everyone has to find that button and uh, press it yeah yeah if we, if we come across the button use it <laughs> great sir so if someone has to find you and uh, you know get mentored by you how do they contact you uh, what is the what My mobile number mobile number okay i will link the okay. description or if they linkedin uh, uh, linkedin i have profile Sir. Facebook, I am there, and then no. So, what's your LinkedIn uh, tag, sir? So they can <coughs> they can contact you. I think there is only one Kerala madam in LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can get it. So whoever wa- watching this now or hearing this in your uh, audio format, uh, if you want to get trained on skills and uh, you know get your mindset fixed. go to kadal mm-hmm. so he will help you out in all the ways possible he will give one on one training and uh, you know he will make sure that you get the best results right sir exactly exactly great exactly. thanks for great. Uh, you know attending this and uh, thanks a lot for uh, you know i'm really grateful to have you in my show here thanks a lot sir okay bye 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 <laughs> see you <laughs>